Yes, Lord, we thank you for this third day, Lord God. We join Amen. five million souls all over the world, oh, oh yes. Lord God. In interceding for your firstborn nation, your promised mm. land, mm. Israel, and your chosen people. Oh, Lord God, download unto us what you want us to pray and declare tonight, Lord. Um, uh, Lord, let us hit, Lord, your targets and let us, oh Lord, bring, Lord, your kingdom down unto your nation as it is in heaven by our prayers. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Surround us with your angels and all the groups meeting and praying today. Oh, Lord, fill us with your spirit. Let us flow with you in Yeshua's name. Amen. 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 Yeah, so now we'll go into our worship and then after we'll watch another 20 minutes of the video that we watched yes. today. Amen. And then yes. we'll go over our prayer point for today and go into our prayer. So. All right. Amen. Father God, I just pray that, and I thank you for what we have heard, for what we have seen, Lord God. I just pray that it would enter our hearts, that you would just give us a deeper understanding of why we are praying for Israel at this time and just how to pray for this city, for this nation that you love so much. So, Father God, I just pray for a deeper revelation, a deeper understanding of just what this nation means to you, what this city, what this people mean to you, Lord God. We say so many times in scripture that they are your chosen people, that it is your holy city, the one that you have chosen to return to. So I pray that as we continue to pray and, inter and intercede for this nation and for the city, for its people, give us a greater heart, a love for this nation that you love. Break our hearts as yours breaks for it, as you look down and see just what is happening, what is going on, Lord. So we just continue to thank you for this honor, for this privilege to pray and intercede for the nation of Israel, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, so um, we'll just go over our prayer points together, our prayer point for this or day three together, and then we'll go into time of prayer. So, okay. so for this prayer, number three, we'll be using the verses Daniel 9, 4 to 19, and Psalm 102, verse 13 to 21, praying for God's face to shine on Jerusalem. In Daniel 9, 4 to 19, it says, I prayed and, he, and said, great and awesome God who keeps his covenant and mercy with those who love him. O oh Lord, righteousness belongs to you. Cause your face to shine on your sanctuary. Incline your ear and hear, open your eyes and see our desolations and the city which is called by your name because of your great mercies. O oh Lord, hear. O oh Lord, forgive. O oh Lord, listen and act. Do not delay for your city and your people are called by your name. And then this is Psalm 102. You will arise and have mercy on Zion for the time to favor her. Yes, the set time has come so that the nations shall fear the name of the Lord for the Lord shall build up Zion. He shall appear in his glory. This will be written for the generation to come that a people yet to be created may praise the Lord. For he looked down from the height of his sanctuary. The Lord viewed the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoner, to release those appointed to death, to declare the name of the Lord and his praise in Jerusalem. Amen. So we could begin our prayer, and then anyone could just jump in, and meet their mics and jump in. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for this prayer initiative you have launched, that you have gathered millions to cover Israel and Jerusalem in prayer. 
Lord, we can feel the tension. We can feel the conflict over the land. Lord God, already in the United Nations, 90 nations have declared that Israel is a Nakba, a catastrophe. The current state of Israel. Already, oh Lord God, there are moves to launch the Palestinian state on the West Bank, which is no other than Judea and Samaria, and which is the territory of Hebron, where you, O oh Lord, told Abraham, look all around you, all these lands I give to you and to your descendants forever. And that Palestinian state that they claim also includes East Jerusalem. Lord, where your temple stands, the Western Wall, the Mount of Olives, where you return. Lord, there is a gathering storm, Lord God, over Israel. But you're sovereign and you have called your troops. And that is all of us to pray, to rally together, to battle, Lord God, for your covenant to be fulfilled over the land of Israel and your chosen people. So here we are, Lord God. Equip us, empower us, give us the wisdom, Lord, how to pray for your nation now with all the things that are going on. And, oh, Lord God, we pray with the confidence and the faith that this is a battle you will win. You, in fact, you already won it on the cross, but you have called us to enforce it. Thank you, Lord, for the honor, the privilege, and the power in Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen. And Just for everyone's information, Pastor Linda is not feeling well. She will be back next week. But remember her in your prayers. Thank you, Jesus. I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> it's not insights on Israel. Sorry. <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow. Amen. Thank you. We speak wholeness, O oh God, in the body system of Pastor Linda. We speak increase of the good cells she has. If there's any decay, Lord God, they will just get out of her body in Jesus' name. We speak, Lord God, to her blood chemistry, be healthy, be normal. We speak, Lord God, to her 248 internal organs, functions normally, youthfully. We speak, Lord God, to her 613 privileges, function normally. We speak, Lord God, to her 365 bones and seniors are developing uh, regular Pla uh, pl platelets, look at normally, and she is on the top, rising higher and higher to what she is uh, feeling in right now, God. Mm -hmm. And restart back to healthy, strong body system. You are so good, oh God, upon Pastor Elinda, that you have caused her right now to be revitalizing. By she is rejuvenating, she is strong, she is healthy in Jesus' name and her. Her countenance, Lord God, and her body system are cooperating to all our prayers, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Amen, amen. Lord, we pray for Hebron, one of the most tense places in Israel, Lord God, and there are 
quite a number of Jewish families who are living there by faith because they are just fulfilling your command to take the land. And they are just declaring that Hebron belongs to the God of Israel. But they are under fire day after day, Lord God. Many have been killed. They are guarded by over a thousand soldiers. Thank you, Lord, for the courage of these Jewish people who will stay in Hebron to claim it for you. Lord, send legions of your warrior angels to guard those families, oh Lord. Put your blood covering of protection over them, O oh Lord God. Lord, let that be, let them not be removed from their place, but let them stake claim on the land as you promised. O oh Lord, this is the burial place of Abraham, O oh Lord God. And this is where Muslims and Jews go to pay homage, but separately, because otherwise they will fight. But we bless, Lord God, Hebron. And we declare that here, where you gave that promise to Abraham, that to your descendants, I will give all the land around you forever. We claim it, oh Lord God. We claim it for your people. And we claim, oh Lord, the Jews call Hebron the entrance to paradise because they believe that it is there where paradise begins and the center of which is Jerusalem. And so, oh Lord God, we claim that your covenant will come to pass. Jerusalem will be a praise in the earth. You will be Emmanuel, God with us, when you take your throne there. And nothing the enemy can do can stop it, Lord God. Only if the sun falls from the sky and the stars stop shining, will Israel cease to be a nation before you forever. In Yeshua's name, amen. 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 Sis Nena, good evening. Can we play a song? Um, a song? When we worship oh. God, we are ushered into His presence. And um, I pray that He will hear us tonight with a song of worship. Yes. Actually, we started with a song kanina. Oh, sorry. I, I was late. I have another song. <laughs> I have a, I have, I have uh, another yeah. song. Oh, go ahead. We, we will do that but, later after praying. Oh, okay. Later. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Sister, they have already a program. The lead, those that lead this prayer, we will just wait on them, please. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know that song. That's a good one. Sige mamaya. On your walls, O Jerusalem. Oh, we prayed that. We played that last yesterday. Did we? Yes. On your walls, O Jerusalem. Yes, we did. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> It's a good song. Amen. So anyone would like to jump in and uh, start to pray? It doesn't need to be very long or it could be in any language. You can read the you verse. Yes, and I'll read the put verse. Up our uh, prayer point for today again. Uh, yeah, 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 you have a... Yeah. So yeah, for today, our prayer point is going to be on Daniel 9, 4 to 19, and Psalm 102, 13 to 21. 
and our main focus will be we're praying for God's face to shine upon Jerusalem. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray for the salvation of Israel. We pray for the safety of our Jewish brothers and sisters everywhere. Abba Father, thank you so much. We believe by faith that you will help them. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, in Yeshua's name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. I just want to thank you, Father, for your love for each one of us. We love for Jerusalem. We love for your people, Israel. And you said, Lord God, that the whole earth is filled with your glory. The whole earth is filled with your glory. The whole earth is filled with your glory. Mm. All is the Lord. Father, even in the midst, I have to confess, I don't understand a lot of what's going on in Israel. And Lord, but what I know is that you love Israel. Mm -hmm. And Lord, I love you so much that I just want to have that heartbeat of yours, Father. And I just pray that each one of us will just be praying from your heartbeat of love, Lord God, that we will be releasing the love of the Father for those that are in Israel and for the remnants all over the world, Lord God, that needs to come back to you, Abba Father. And so, Father, I thank you. I thank you, Lord God, for your promise, Lord God, that in every situation, your, the whole earth will see your glory. Lord, you've shown that. Everybody knows what happened to Exodus, how you brought them, Lord God, across from slavery to, to freedom, Lord God. And there are so many, Father, you were there, Daniels, then you were there, Lord God, in so many instances. You were there during the time of the you were there in Sodom and Gomorrah. You were there. You were there during, Lord God, uh, the killing of, um, Lord God, of David, killing uh, mm, the giant, Lord God. And so, Father, I just thank you, Lord God. You are seen everywhere, Father. And, Lord, yes, the nation can be done in a day because of your love. And so, Father, I just pray, give us love for Israel. Give us so much love, Lord God, that we just, Lord, just reflect your love and your passion for your people. And I thank you, Father. Yes, the whole earth will be filled with your glory, Lord God. And yes, Amen. Lord God, you are such a great and awesome God. And you keep your covenant and mercy with those who love you. And so, Father, thank you. Yes, we are the righteousness of God in your son, Jesus. So, Lord, that we ask, cause your face to shine. Oh, don't, don't dance. So, yes, thank you. Thank you. Cause your face to shine upon your people. Lord, thank you. Make a separation. Make a separation of those who love you. Make Amen. a separation. Oh, Father, move. Moving the love that was exploded. Your love exploded. Lord God, they are the cross. You just gave it all so that we can look to you again and again, come back to you again and mm -hmm. again. Lord. I call upon you again and again, for we know in the resurrection of your son, Jesus, there is deliverance and there is love. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Abba. Abba, Abba, Abba. Be the father of the nations. Amen, Father. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, po. Father, yes. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Abba. Father. Oh, hallelujah. Heavenly Father, hallelujah. The psalmist tells us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. So we pray for peace for your chosen people, Israel, and their beloved city of Jerusalem. Yes, you have planned for Israel 
provided for Israel and protected Israel for thousands of years. But as in days of old, there are those today who seek to harm and even destroy your people. So we ask you to keep Israel in your loving care, put a spiritual hedge of protection around your people and their land. Watch over this nation as a good shepherd watches over his flock. And may your chosen people find their ultimate safety and security in you. While you watch over your people, may your spirit awaken in them a hunger to embrace their Messiah, the one who died for them, until they see him face to face. This we pray in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua Mashiach. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Yes, Father God, once again, Lord, we come before you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for the power of agreement. Thank you, Lord, that Israel is not only your beloved, Lord. It's not only your chosen people, Panginoon. It's not only your chosen nation, but you have made Israel, Lord God, your timepiece, Panginoon, for biblical prophecies, Lord God. So we thank you for this privilege, Lord God, of coming together as part of your bride, as part of the church, as part of the body of Christ, Lord God, coming from different backgrounds, different denominational backgrounds, Lord. We thank you for the spirit of unity within the body, within your bride, to lift up your chosen people. We thank you for this great privilege, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Just come before you, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, Lord, that in this time, in this hour, Lord, in this set time of favor for your holy people, Panginoon, for Israel, Lord, God, for Jerusalem, the city of the great King. We thank you, Lord, that you can lift them up before you. Thank you that you are the covenant-keeping God, Lord, that you will keep on remembering. We always uh, come before you, Lord God, and ask you to remember your covenant be there for fathers, Lord God. And you are a covenant-keeping God, Lord. Look upon them with mercy. Look upon them, Lord God, with, with grace, with your loving kindness, Lord God. Not because they deserve it, Lord, but because you are the God that they, uh, they are, they've been called upon, Panginoon. They are called by your name, Lord God. Fulfill your promises to their forefathers because you are a faithful God, Lord God. And you keep your holy covenants and you keep your word to your people, Panginoon. Lord, be merciful to them. Look upon them, Lord God, with your mercy and your grace, Lord God. Mm -hmm. Forgive them, Panginoon, if they have, their forefathers have rebelled uh, against you in the past, Panginoon. And we have seen, Lord, even in what, hap what happened to them in, in history in the past, it's just but a sign of how faithful you are to your word, Lord God. You really keep your word, Lord. But remember, this is the time, Lord God, the set time for you to favor them, Lord God, for them to see, Lord, that you are the faithful God of their forefathers, Lord. And just as you have promised that in the last days you will gather them from the different <coughs> nations where you have scattered them and you have fulfilled it, Lord God. Come to their aid, come to the rescue once again, Lord God, even with all of these forces, nations, Rally against them, Lord God. Intervene, Lord God, that you are for them, not against them. In Jesus' mighty name, cause for them to see, Lord, that you are faithful to your promises, as as this messianic Jews coming on as they intercede in behalf of. Their brethren, Panginoon, their fellow Jews, God. Hear their heart cry, hear their prayers, Lord God. We agree with, with, with those prayers were in your grace, with your salvation, Lord God. Glory. So that, Lord, as the angel, Lord God, because you will cause them to behold you. Nice that she. Really, 
in Jesus' mighty name of our Jewish brethren, Father God. Thank you, Lord, that this is your son with your divine intervention. We just bless you for what you are doing, Lord God, even as we uh, stand in the gap in behalf of your people, Panginoon, mm -hmm. your chosen people. We just thank you for even as we stand. Thank you for your favor to rest upon them. Thank you for your salvation, oh Lord God, to be uh, revealed to them individually and corporately in the name of Jesus. We just glorify your name for what you're doing, Lord God, as we stand in the gap. We magnify your name and let your name be exalted, even, oh Lord God, in the nation of Israel. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Father God, we just stand in your word as it says in Psalm 102, and we just believe in this scripture that you will arise and have mercy on Zion for the time to favor her. Yes, the set time has come, Lord God. For your servants take pleasure in her stones and show favor to her dust. So the nation shall fear the name of the Lord and they call the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord shall build up Zion. He shall appear in his glory. He shall regard the prayer of the destitute and shall not despise their prayer. This will be written for the generation to come that a people yet to be created may praise the Lord. For he looked down from the height of his sanctuary. From heaven, the Lord viewed the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoner, to release those appointed to death, to declare the name of the Lord in Zion and his Amen. praise in Jerusalem. So yes, Father God, cause your face to shine upon Jerusalem, to shine upon Israel, to shine upon its people, your chosen people once again, Lord God. Build her up, build up Zion, Lord God. Build up the nation of Israel. Though many stand against her right now, you are with her and you will. You have always been with her. And Lord, if you are with them, who can be against them? None can come against them, Lord God. So we just believe and trust in your plan, in your end time plan for this nation, for this world, that you will rise and have mercy upon Zion. And that right Amen. now, as we are praying, her time of favor is near and her time of favor has even come, Lord God. So cause your glory, cause your presence, cause your love to go upon this nation, go upon <clears throat> Jerusalem and shine upon her once again, that all nations, all people, all tongues, all tribes would see that you are the God of Israel, that you are the God of Jerusalem, that you are the God that has chosen its people as your own. And in this time, they will be yours, God, and they you you will be theirs, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Abba Father, this afternoon at three p.m. Philippines time, the group of the Mason Masonists, the Masonry, are gathered in some in a, one part of uh, Israel. And they are meeting, Lord God. Father, we pray that these are representative of the darkness, whatever they talk about today in Israel, the, what they will never prevail, they will never prosper. Whatever they have discussed yes. together, Lord God, about negativity in Israel, we say they will never agree to each other. And we declare, oh God, your plans for Israel prevails. Your kingdom Amen. has come already, Lord God. Your will shall be done. Life, 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 love, life overtakes Israel, oh God. That is your very prime purposes in Israel. And so, Father God, you are coming back to a nation who will worship you and adore you. That alone prevails. And those uh, representatives of the darkness, like the masonry, Lord God, and the rest of those who would like to control, Lord God, the Israel and the nations of the world, I say, Father God, their plans will not prevail. Their plans will not prosper. In Jesus' mighty name, you alone, Abba Yahweh, Yeshua, Matthew's name, 
prospers in in all your prob in all your plans and purposes. <coughs> Design objectivity, assignment of Jerusalem and Israel that alone prevail. That will reach and touch the whole earth. In to return to your God to worship and adore you, and for the whole world to acknowledge Yeshua is our Messiah. Amen. Amen. And amen. And amen. Amen. Father God, I just thank you and just honor you for your word. And yes, uh, as what Jeremy has read in Psalm 102, verse 13 down in the TPT, it says, I know you are about to arise. And Father, thank you for bringing this light into our hearts that we know, that we know that you are about to arise for your people and show your tender love to Zion. Now is the time, Lord, for your compassion and mercy to be poured out. The appointed time has come for your prophetic promises to be fulfilled. So, Father, we stand on that word. That today, this time, right now, Father, your compassion and your mercy be poured out to every single Jew, to every single um, person in Israel right now in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is that they are facing right now, regardless of what the enemy is doing, Father, your mercy and your compassion, Father, is holding them right now in Jesus' name. And we speak that to manifest and that they will know in Jesus' name. And such compassion, Father, And such mercy be poured out. And it will overflow not only in Israel, but even to us at this time. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. The appointed time has come. And we are believing, Father, and we believe that that, that Appointed time has come for your prophetic promise, promises to be fulfilled. That you are going to bless this nation. That you're going to stand for this nation. That you're going to arise. And that you're going to show your love to your people. And thank you, Father. So we stand on this verse today in behalf of your people, Israel. Behalf of this nation, Father. Thank you for making all of us here, all 65 of us stand, believing in faith, in unity, in one spirit, in one heart. Standing in behalf of your people to declare blessing on this land in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. We glorify your name. We exalt your name. Your name above every name. Your name above every, every, everything, every, 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 whatever it is that the enemy would use against Israel. Every weapon that is aimed at against them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And we glorify your name. Amen. And we thank you for your glory in Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you have said that those who bless Israel are blessed. Amen. And those who curse Israel are cursed. Yes. 
And Lord, again, we ask forgiveness. Lord, for that curse upon Israel that a representative of the Department of Foreign Affairs of the Philippines made when he yes. voted for that resolution to call Israel a Nakba, a catastrophe. But Lord, we declare that we are the true government of this nation. We are the authority in this land. And we declare that Israel is not a catastrophe, but a blessing and your future throne room. And we thank you that we have blessed Israel today. I just got this news that Senator Joel Villanueva gave a sponsorship speech at 3 p.m. today, commemorating the 75th anniversary of the establishment of the State of Israel. I will send this link to anyone who wants mm. to watch it. But we thank you, Lord God, that in our government, with our leadership, we have blessed Amen. Israel. And mm. we declare that we stand by our vote in 1947 46. for the restoration Amen. of your promised land, Amen. which is the fulfillment of prophecy. Amen. And which is the assurance that you are returning to the land. Amen. The end of the age. Thank Remember you. us, Lord, for we have blessed Israel today as we did in 1947. Call us a sheep nation, mm. Lord. The time of judgment in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. We glorify your most precious holy name. Thank you, O Lord God, that you have given us the unity to intercede in behalf of uh, Israel. Thank you, Lord, that uh, you are their wall of, of protection and uh, their well of life. As we intercede for, inter, uh, for Israel, the country of whom you have made us the apple of uh, your eye, we praise and we glorify you because, Lord, you have said that those who contend with them will contend with you. When the, uh, there was a plague uh, that was about to destroy the people of uh, Israel during Moses' time, Lord God, Moses has instructed Aaron that he would need to take a fire from the altar and stand in behalf of the people between the plague and the people, and the plague actually had stopped. Lord, we praise and we glorify your most precious holy name because we stand in the gap in behalf of Israel, not on our own strength, not on our own ability, but because, Lord, we are standing in behalf of them with your word as uh, a foundation, O Lord God. Let your glory once again shine towards this um, country, O Lord God, and let the whole world know, O Lord God, that the God who has chosen Israel is the only God among any other gods that can be named. Father, we glorify your most precious holy name because, Lord, you've said that your words will never come to you empty and void, but it will always accomplish the very purpose for which you have sent all our God. And Lord, claiming all our God, the word in Daniel um, 9, for uh, 19 and Psalms 102, 13 to 21, all our God, we are using this as a fire, all our God, standing in behalf of Israel because, Lord, we know that your word actually has its own inherent power to fulfill, all our God, the very purpose for which you have sent it. Even right now, Lord, we glorify your most precious holy name and we magnify your most precious holy name because. Lord, you have given us, all our God, the chance to be part of what you are about to do um, for this country, all our God. Thank you, Lord God, that you are a God of goodness, of faithfulness, all our God. We magnify your most precious holy name. We give you back all the glory, the praises, thanksgiving, and adoration. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And Father, right now, we continue Amen. to declare and decree that, Lord, a pure 
praise and a pure worship will come out and spring forth out of Jerusalem, Father God, from your people who are called by your name, who recognizes that you are their Messiah. We declare and decree, even right now, praise, adore, adoration, Lord God, worship, pure worship in spirit and in truth of the true and living God will come forth and spring forth out of your holy city, Panginoon. And this praise that shall arise will cause, Lord God, your visitation, Lord God, it will create an atmosphere, Father, in the name of Jesus, for you to visit your people, Lord God. Not only, Lord God, with dreams and visions, but Lord, you will visit them, Lord God, even, Lord God, when they are awake, Lord God, you will reveal yourself to them. Because that spirit of praise and worship, Lord, will create an atmosphere where you can dwell and inhabit it. Father God, we thank you that you can just be Clear and decree it right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jeremy, maybe we can go to the gallery so we know who wants to pray. There. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, can we can we just go to um Daniel 9? The prayer of Daniel. And verse 4, I prayed to the Lord my God and confessed, Lord, the great and awesome God who keeps his covenant of love and to those who love him and keep his commandments, we have sinned and done wrong. We have been wicked and have rebelled. We have turned away from your commands and laws. We have not listened to your servant and prophets who spoke in your name in our king, our princess, and our ancestors, and to all the people of the land. Verse 7, Lord, you are righteous, but this day we are covered with shame. The people of Jud Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem and all Israel, both near and far, in all the countries where you have scattered us because of our unfaithfulness to you. We and our kings, our princes, and our ancestors are covered with shame, Lord, because we have sinned against you. The Lord our God is merciful and forgiving, even though we have rebelled against him. We have not obeyed the Lord our God or kept the laws he gave us through his servants, the prophets. All Israel has transgressed your law and turned away, refusing to obey you. Therefore, the curse and sworn judgment written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, have been poured out on us because we have sinned against you. You have fulfilled the words spoken against us and against our rulers by bringing to on us great disaster. Under the whole heaven, nothing is even been done like what has been done to Jerusalem. Verse 13, just as, it's, just as it is written in the law of Moses, all the disasters has come on us, yet we have not sought the favor of our Lord in our God or by turning our sins and giving attention to your truth. The Lord did not hesitate to bring the disaster On us, for the Lord our God is righteous in everything he does, yet have not obeyed him. Verse 15, now, Lord our God, who brought your people out of Egypt with a mighty hand and who made for yourself a name that endures to this day. We have sinned, we have done wrong. Lord, in keeping with all the righteous acts, turn away your anger and wrath from Jerusalem, your city, your holy hill, our sin and the iniquities of our ancestors have made Jerusalem and your people, people the object of scorn to all about to all those around us. 17. Now, O Lord, O, o God, hear the prayers, the petition of your servant. For your sake, Lord, look with favor on your desolate sanctuary. Give ear, O God, 
and hear. Open your eyes and see the desolation of the city that bears your name. We do not make a request of you because we are righteous, but because of your great mercy. Lord, listen. Lord, forgive. Lord, hear and act for your sake, my God. Do not delay because your city and your people bear your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, wonderful. Jesus, your mercy and your compassion, Father. Show it over your people at this time. As we stand with them, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Through the blood of Jesus, through the new covenant that he has poured out when he died on the cross, he has shown up. He has opened his arm for forgiveness. And that includes your people, Israel, and all of us in here in this platform. Thank you, Father. We embrace such forgiveness. We embrace such mercy and grace and such faithfulness that's always renewed and fresh every morning. And that's overtaking us every day. And not only us and also to your people, Israel. Father, thank you. And we just continue to Cry and call on your name. That you remember your word over your people. You're going to bless them. That they are the apple of your eye. And Father, we just remind you of all this. That you love them. That you send your son Jesus to die for them and for all of us. That you don't care if you become poor so that we become rich. And that by your strife, by your stripes, we are healed. And so, Father, thank you. We just remind you of your love for us and for your people, Israel, and for us as a nation, Philippines, Japan, United States, Father, of the iniquity or the sin that our people have yielded to to vote no for Israel or whatever vote that has been casted. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. We just remind you, Lord, we just come to you and remind you of how much love you have for us. And Father, we just lift up to you each of these countries that we represent down here. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you for making it possible for us. And today, these 21 days that we have committed to, or submitted ourselves to be praying together, Father, thank you for blessing each and every single day. Thank you for showing yourself strong in our behalf every single day. And thank you, Father, for favor upon favor that has opened up, that your goodness has overtaken each one of us. And so, Father, thank you for the strength that you're giving each one of us, that you cover us with your precious blood, that you protect us, Father, even as we come together and put our hearts, needs our heart together as one, to stand with your people, Israel. Allow us, Lord, to, to continue on in our prayers, not only at this time, but even when we're alone, Father, that we will always remember that all of us are together in this to stand for your people, Israel. We, we will not be moved. We will not be, we, we will not be moved by what we see and what we hear, what's going on in Israel. We're only moved by your word, Father, that you are a merciful God that you're going to arise, that you're going to show your compassion to your people and to all of us. We look unto your heart and we will refuse to be moved by all of these other things that are happening around Israel and around all of us. And we thank you, Father, for such an honor that all of us here, 63 of us, 64 of us, you have called to be one tonight to stand for your people. 
and we glorify your name and we honor your name. And we are one with the prayer of Daniel in, uh, this time. Thank you, Father. Have mercy. Have mercy on your people and all of us. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father God, we also pray, Lord, for all the Israelites, the Jewish people in our nation, Lord. Father, thank you, Lord, um, for the special relationship that we have with them and all of the Filipinos, the Japanese, the Americans who have friends who are Jewish who are from Israel, Lord, that we would continue to love them, that we would relate to them, minister to them, encourage them, Lord, for such a time as this, Lord, that we can be together, Jews and Gentiles, to be united in you, Lord Jesus. And Father, we thank you, Lord, that you teach us to love them because you love them, Lord. And Father, thank you also for your example to us that even if they reject you, that you still love them. Mm. Amen. Amen. Lord, we and you command Lord. us to love them as well. So, Father, give us the heart, Lord. Give us also the compassion and the empathy for them, Lord. And, Father, mm. it's truly a privilege to have uh, Jewish friends, Lord. And we pray, Lord, that you would give us grace. Give us also discernment. Give us some um, gentleness and the uh, and uh, wisdom, how to relate with them. Father, help us also to not um, be too pushy, Lord. Um, but to to share your love with them, Lord, in a way that is pleasing mm -hmm. to you, Lord. We pray, Lord, um, that as we um, pray for them, that we would speak to them in in words that are um, taught to us by the Holy Spirit, that we would uh, continue to encourage them, Lord, knowing that they will be the one to evangelize when the time comes that your church will be raptured so we pray for them lord jesus we pray for strength for them courage for them and um as we are in entering the tribulation lord jesus that you would strengthen the heart of your people lord and um, father we also pray lord for more opportunities to be united, Lord, the Jews and the Gentiles together during Amen. this time, Lord. And Father, we thank you also for the opportunity to minister to them when they come to our country, Lord. And when we have friends, Lord, help us to love them the way you love them, Lord Jesus. Knowing that we are looking forward to only one person, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Even if they're looking for forward to the first coming and we are looking for your second coming, Lord, we are just looking forward for one and only you, Lord Jesus. So, Father, we look forward to uh, you coming again, Lord Jesus, and to worship you together, Jews and Gentiles together in one heart and also in Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. Let's have one Amen. more or maybe two prayers, yes, Father, and then we will go on with our communion. Yes, Father, we pray, Father, for... Christians, Lord, to intercede for the United States of America, mm -hmm. especially with the coming elections in 2024. I just pray, Lord, Lord, for righteous leaders who will show favor to Israel, Lord, to the nation, Father God. Mm -hmm. I just lift that up to you that not just now, this 21 day past, but Father, that we will continue to pray for this, Lord, because it really affects the nation of Israel, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lord. But whoever comes in, Lord, we lift up every detail to you, Lord, in your mighty name. Amen. 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 Father. All right, we... anyone? One last? Go Father, ahead, Sister Del. Continue to come to you in prayer and supplication. Your word, Father, says, call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. <laughs> call me my name and I will deliver thee. 
so that you will glorify me. Father, may the brothers and sisters in Israel, O oh God, be alive, O oh Lord, <coughs> who are the God who can provide them peace. You're the God, O oh Lord, who can give them everything, O oh God. And may they know, Lord, deep inside them, O oh Lord, that there is a God who loves them. For the first child, the first son, come from their lineage. Mm -hmm. Father, it is our prayer, Lord, that thou would speak to the heart of those brothers and sisters right now. Amen. Provide for their needs, so Lord. We know that a lot of them are in need of God. But Lord, they're your children. But there are times, oh Lord, that because of the hardness of their hearts, oh Lord, that they, Lord, seem to doubt that there is God, Lord. But we pray, Father, this right now, O oh Lord, that thou wouldst reach out to them. Speak to their hearts, O oh Lord. And let them know that you are the God who loves them, who has a special place in your heart, O oh God. That someday, Lord, that we will dream. It's, it, it's our dream, O oh Lord, that this nation, O oh God, will glorify your name. Father, that it is our prayer, Lord, for our government, O oh God, come to the rescue, should be, should be, there's a need, O oh God. I pray, Lord, that I would speak to the hearts of our government officials, O oh Lord, <clears throat> to realize, O oh Lord, that Israel is the chosen people of God and in helping them, O oh Lord, in return, we will be blessed. So Father, prepare our hearts to, O oh God, as we as you, Lord, command us, Lord, to help them in time of need. So Father, into your loving hands, we commit these brothers and sisters to you. I pray, O oh Lord, that thou would enable us too to be faithful in praying, O oh God, not only in these 21 days, O oh Lord, but it would it could be a lifestyle for us, O oh mm. Lord, to mm. be praying for Israel, mm. to be praying for our country, and to be praying for one another, O oh Lord. Lord Amen. You are the God, O oh God, who supplies everything. You are the God, O oh Lord, who controls everything, O oh God. And so we surrender, we submit to you, O oh Lord, all our cares, all the cares of our nations, all the cares of Israel, especially at this point at in time, O oh Lord, that they need you, O oh God. <clears throat> Lord, we are coming to you on their behalf, O oh Lord. But foremost, Lord, may they realize that you are the Redeemer, O oh Lord, that you are the Savior, O oh God, that the Savior comes from their line, bloodline, O oh God. And so, Father, into your loving hands, we commit all these things to you. In the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So go we'll, ahead, Jeremy. We'll we'll go into a closing worship and then after we'll have communion. So if everyone could please yes. have their elements ready. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Can we take our elements? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus.
in 1 Corinthians 11, 23 to 25, for I received from the Lord the teaching that I passed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took a piece of bread, give thanks to God, broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in memory of me. In Gen 6, 51, he said, I am the bread, the living bread that came down from heaven. If you eat this bread, you will live forever. The bread that I will give you is my flesh, which I give so that the world may live. Father, thank you. We were, we're going to partake this bread communion together as a body. As we stand for Israel today. Thank you, Father. For your love for us. That even in this body. There's healing. Not only on our physical body. But us as a family. Father, thank you. We honor you. And we glorify your name for what you have done. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. In verse 25, it says, In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup and said, This is God's new covenant. Filled with my blood. Whenever you drink it, do so in memory of me. In Matthew 26, 27, and 28, to this, then he took a cup, give thanks to God, and give it to them. Drink it, all of you, he said. This is my blood, which seals God's covenant. My blood poured out for many for the forgiveness of sin. And Father, we stand in behalf of your people, Israel, that your blood covers and seals, Lord, the forgiveness that you have offered to each one and to your people. Thank you, Father. We honor you and we glorify your name. And we remember you, your return, your coming, as we celebrate today, your goodness in our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Let Let's just meditate upon uh, on 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 the through the song. Let have Jeremy play communion and let's just listen to it and just you know just pause for a while and ponder on why we should be one with Jesus all the time and with everyone. Amen. 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 Powerful. Amen. Amen. So powerful. 